So Alice in Change, uh, in Change's Nutshell, pretty interesting song that is in the key of D sharp minor. And we haven't really looked at um, uh, minor keys uh, too much before, but this is a pretty common one. They use it a lot. Apparently, this is one of the top minor keys in rock uh, music, so uh, so worth taking a look at, certainly. Uh, but we typically, we have been looking at the major scale and the intervals for the major scale, as you know, a tonic, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, step, half step. But for a minor uh, scale, those intervals change, right? They'll go tonic, whole step, uh, half step, three whole steps, whole steps, whole step, whole step, half step, and then whole step to the octave. And that sounds like this. I'm going to do it from the D, from the D minor, uh, from the D sharp. So now a whole step, now a half step, now another whole step, another whole step, another whole step, a half step, and a whole step. Those notes are uh, D sharp, so that's on the first fret of the D string. That makes it D sharp. The next note, when we spell it, so we, we still got to spell stuff alphabetically, right? So we're going to spell things in order, like it was an alphabet, which it is, right? We, we start with a D sharp. The next note has to be E because that's alphabetic, but it's a whole step, so it's going to be an E sharp, right? The next note has to be an F. Uh, that is um, going to be an F sharp. That's on the fourth fret. Now the next note has to be a G. It's going to be a G sharp. That's going to be on the sixth fret, right? Now an A sharp. That's going to be on the eighth fret. A sharp on the eighth fret of the D string. And now another whole step to a B sharp. That's on the tenth fret, right? And now a half a step to a C sharp. Uh, uh, and then a whole step to a D sharp. That's going to be on the thirteenth fret of the of the D string. Again, it'll sound like this. Say the, num the numbers of the frets too. That might be helpful. So be uh, this is all in the D string. First fret, third fret, fourth fret, uh, sixth fret, eighth fret, tenth fret, eleventh fret, and thirteenth fret. And so that's a good scale for us to know right there, uh, especially if we want to do Alice in Chains nutshell. So practice that one. Now the diatonic chords. Uh, the, uh, uh, typically, um, we, we also learned uh, diatonic chords in a particular key. In D sharp minor, those chords those chords are D sharp minor, E sharp minor, F sharp major, G sharp major, A sharp minor, B sharp minor, C sharp major, and D sharp minor. And what that sounds like this, I'll I'll play that also from the D sharp minor, E sharp minor, F sharp major. G sharp major, A sharp minor, B sharp minor, C sharp major, and D sharp minor. And those are your, uh, those are your diatonic chords. Again, one more time for the diatonic chords. Uh, I'm sorry, on the eleventh fret of the E string for my, my D sharp, D sharp minor. Now I'm going to go to E sharp minor. That's uh, on the first fret. Now F sharp major. G sharp major, A sharp minor, B sharp minor, C sharp major, and D sharp minor. 